Welcome to the second week of Introductory Mathematics for uh, AI. Uh -huh. In this week, uh, we will start part two, um, AI and Matrix. Uh, section uh, will be uh, consist of uh, five of these, uh, start from ordered tuples and vectors and vector operations and matrix and tensors and matrix operations and rules for matrix operations. And linear algebra is a branch of mathematics concerning matrices, which is known to be the most useful tool in solving most applied mathematics problems relies on matrix computations. In part two, we will learn the fundamentals of linear algebra required for artificial intelligence, including singular, val singular value decompositions, which is essential for dimension reduction of data. Section 2.1, ordered tuples and vectors. Data uh, can be represented as an ordered pair or n tuple. For example, the information on height, weight, age, sex of a person can be considered as a data for a person, like this. This data can be expressed as an ordered four tuple. Each number in the table is considered a component of a data. Uh, in this table, the Kim has a height 160 centimeter and 80 kilogram and age 19 and uh, male here. And this data can be written as a four tuples like this. For Lee and this data and for Fa and, uh, and this uh, uh, four tuples. Okay. Two dimensional or three dimensional data consisting of two or three components represent a point on the coordinate plane or coordinate space, mm -hmm. R2 or R3. It is not easy to visualize for higher dimensional data, but we can think of it as a point lying in a higher dimensional space, Rn. For example, A1 and A2, whose uh, Component are A1 and A2 represent a point A on the coordinate plane, A1, mm -hmm. and an arrow whose starting point is the origin, the O here, and the end point A here. So this is called a vector, which is represented as OA bar, or uh, bold A, mm -hmm. whose components are consist of uh, real numbers A1 and A2. And this, a, uh, this component A1 and A2 is called a scalar. And in R3, and uh, a vector OA uh, is, a, uh, is an arrow uh, whose origin is 0, uh, O, and the end point uh, is this point a1, A2, A3 in R3. Okay. Next, a vector operations. The following operations can be defined for vectors on R2. First, the scalar multiplication. For a scalar k and a vector AV in R2 uh, can be defined in this way. For example, we have a 2 times a vector 1, 2, then it can be written as 2, 4. Second, the vector addition. For a vectors A, B, and C, D in R2, uh, the addition of these two vectors is defined in this way. Uh, for example, if we have uh, two vectors, 1, 2, and 3, 4, then addition of these two vectors is going to be 4, 6. Addition of the, uh, each component at the same place. Property of vector operations. For any vectors x, y, z in R, n, and the scalar h and k uh, in real numbers, uh, the following holds. The commutative law 
for the addition and associative law uh, for the addition and there exists a zero vector and whose components are all zeros in Rn and uh, negative vector minus x of x and uh, associative law, associativity law rule uh, for the um, addition and uh, scalar multiplications mm -hmm. something like this the eight conditions mm -hmm. these properties also hold for the matrix operations that you we will see uh, in the next computation compute uh, the addition of two vectors or scalar multiplication when we have uh, a V and W and scalar K uh, is equal to 3 like this. Then easy computation shows the result like this. Mm -hmm. And we can do those computations with the code. Okay, uh, Define the vector V and W and scalar K is equal to 3. Then print V plus W and print K star V gives us the same solution, same answer that we had here. If we change these vectors or scalar, then we will have the results for those given vectors. If we have a four dimensional vectors like this, then we also it will do the same computation for the two-dimensional, uh, four-dimensional vectors like that, or even for the higher. Uh, let's try. To randomly, gener randomly generated vectors in scalars, then, then check the validity, validity of vector addition and scalar multiplications. Here, randomly generated uh, the, the, uh, the vector of dimension 7, and in the scale uh, from minus 10 to 9, and uh, let's do the computations. Then, if you do those things, then it, you, we will see uh, it works. Those uh, uh, the rules uh, hold for any. If you change this as a higher dimensional vectors like this, the, the R nice yeah, nine dimensional vector space over here then it do the same thing for us. I think that will show um, the uh, simple understanding of vectors and vector uh, operations. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, let's uh, finish up at this point and we will continue uh, for the matrices and tensors. If you have any questions, uh, feel free to ask it uh, in uh, Q&A of the iCampus. Good.